and learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are in the remote teaching and learning process. Bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Students, a warm welcome to all the children of TV, uh, Thakur Vidya Mandir Junior College. I hope you all are safe and in good health. Today we are going to study subject EVS 2, lesson number 5. In the previous lesson, we learned that primitive man, primitive means the first human being, evolved from apes. The next step for human was learning to use their hands effectively to make tools. Now students, in human being, we are going to study in this lesson about the changes and stages of human being, how they started changing themselves. So according to stages, one one stages we are going to learn. So the first stages was Homo habilis. Now Homo habilis is the first human species to make use to the tools skillfully. In Latin, homo means man and habilis means one who uses his hands skillfully. They used to walk on two feet and their spine was slightly bent and not quite erect. They used their tools to hunt small animals, collect eggs, fruits and roots. So this was the starting stage of homo habilis. The next stage we will see in the next slide. The next stage is Homo erectus. Now in this, what little bit more development they started changing them in their body was Homo erectus marks important stages in human evolution. Erectus means one who stands erect. You must be all knowing the erect means the person who stands straight. He had more developed brain and his brain also started developing little bit more compared to the Homo habilis. They lived in group. First, they do not live in group, but and now the changes were they started living in group. Homo erectus learned the technique of fetching fire from the burning branches and use fire. This is what small more development that they started doing. Tools developed were more symmetrical, and Homo erectus made use of hand axes. The third stage is Homo neonatalensis. Neonatal. One more stage in the human evolution is the Homo neonatalensis. They were big and strong. They were found in Africa, Europe, and Asia. They primarily lived in caves. They made tools out of big pebbles, and these tools were attached to a bone to make weapons like spears and axe. Neonatal hunted big animals. As they were very big and strong, they started hunting big animals also. They were mainly meat eaters. They used leather clothing. And at this stage, they started wearing something on their body also. They had developed artistic skills. They also used to communicate with each other. They were not able to talk properly. The next stage is Homo sapiens. Human species that were more intelligent than any earlier species was named Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens means thinking man. They slowly started thinking about new new techniques. They made different types of tools and implement to suit the task which was important for them. Homo sapiens could produce a variety of sounds and modulated his voice the way he liked. They had a well-developed language system. He could draw pictures on the basis of observation and imagination. As I said, they were more developed. They started developing little, small, little bit languages among themselves, what they can understand. And they started observation and imagination also by drawing pictures. The next stage is Homo sapiens sapiens. As I told you children, the sapiens sapiens world has come again. Don't think it is given by mistake it has come. It is given purposely but there is some reason. Homo sapiens sapiens were ancestors of the modern man. 
having similar appearance and health characteristics like example as i told you now as we modern human how we look like little bit proper human being they they were at this homo sapiens sapiens their capacity to think was more developed they started thinking more they cultivated land and domesticated animal they cultivated land means they started growing crops whatever crops they like or pulses or wild grains and they started keeping these animals with them and train them so they can take their help whenever they want to for hunting big animals they lived a more settled life first their life was not proper settled they used to roam from one place to another but now they thought of settling at one place for a longer time their capacity to think enable them to improve technology that enriches their life they started thinking more and more further so they can develop their life and the things what they can use tools and all with a better way so children this was the lesson evolution of mankind different stages of proper human being let's see small exercise fill in the blanks number 1 Homo is a Latin word which means dash. I think when I explained you in the first slide only what is the meaning of homo. So answer is man. The second fill in the blank. The Neanderthal primarily lived. They started properly living in caves. As you must be knowing, where first they were staying in jungle from here and there. They never had proper house. But then in Neanderthal stage, they started living in caves. So the answer of second fill in the blank is Caves. Answer in one sentence. Number one, who is said to have first made tools like the hand axe? There were different kind of tools made. So in the second stage, that is, answer is Homo erectus people. They started making hand axe, which is the most intelligent human species, Homo sapiens. The answer is Homo sapiens. I hope you like this lesson, children. keep learning something new every day thank you